Okay, the law of sines is you can write a proportion. You can write the sine of an angle A is to the side opposite of the angle as the sine of an angle B is the side opposite of, it, of the angle B. So you just have to make sure that when you're drawing and writing out these triangles that if you have angle A, side A, A has to be opposite of it. So we usually do uppercase letters for angles and lowercase letters for side lengths. The law of cosines is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC sine of A, or cosine of A, cosine of A. So A, B, and C are all interchangeable. If you have B squared right here, it's going to be A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of B. The thing is, the side that you want to know, or the side, this side's always opposite the angle. So this part, find the length of the or angle using law of sines. So it's going to tell us what to use, law of sines or law of cosines. So in this one, you can use law of sines using sine of 23 is the side opposite C as, a circle these two are opposite, sine of angle 77 is to the side 15. So now you cross multiply, so you have 15 sine 23 equals C sine 77. And then at the end you divide both sides by sine of 77. These cancel out. So this is not one where you have to do the inverse, you just put this in your calculator. 15 sine 23 divided by sine of 77 and you get approximately 6.0. You have to round the nearest tenth. And then for number four, find the measure of angle B. So angle B matches up with 22, so sine of B is to 22 as 48 degrees matches up with 63. And then you're going to cross multiply. So it's 63 sine of B equals 22 sine of 48. So I'm going to divide both sides by 63. So all of this stuff divided by 63. And that equals the sine of B. Because I'm trying to find the angle, this is when you have to do sine inverse. So in your calculator, you sine inverse, and you put 22 sine of 48 divided by 63. And the answer is about approximately 15 degrees. And then down here, law of sines, you're going to want to set up your cross-multiplying problem. So 123 matches up with 43, so it's sine of 123 is to side 43 as, and you're trying to find A, so A matches up with 19. So sine of the angle A is to 19. So you cross, multiply both sides, so it's 19 sine of 123 equals 43 sine of A, divide both sides by 43. Now again, you're trying to figure out what the angle measure is. So you have to do sine inverse of all of this. So this is about 22 degrees. And then number six, find side E. So E matches up with angle E, but I don't have an angle. However, you can figure out this angle because you know the other three angles, or the other two angles, you know these two. So this one has to be 67. So I'm going to write 67 right here. So it's sine of 67 is to E as... Now, I'm not going to use this 59 because I don't have this side. So I'm going to use the 54 because I have this side. So it's sine of 54 is to 7. So I'm going to cross multiply. So it's E sine of 54 equals 7 sine 67. 
I divide both sides by sine of 54. So E is approximately 8.0, it's the nearest tenth. Okay, this time I'm going to use law of cosine. So, um, I'm trying to find a side length. So, I know the angle, but not the side opposite. So, the side opposite of the angle is going to be a squared. So, it's a squared equals, I'm going to use these two as 42 squared plus 53 squared minus 2 times 42 times 43 cosine of the angle 115. So it's a squared is equal to all of this in red. So I need to take the square root of all of this in red. So I put it in my calculator very carefully and I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. A is approximately equal to 80.3. Okay, for the num next one, oops. Again, I'm going to use law of cosines. I have a side angle side situation, and I want to know the side opposite the angle. So it's going to be f squared or a squared equals the two sides 26 squared plus 22 squared minus 2 times 26 times 2 cosine of 72. So I get to this, and I need I have an a squared, so I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and it very care carefully in my calculator, and I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. So a, or actually f, is approximately equal to 28.4. There's no units on these. Um, and then number nine, find the measure of the angle. So we're, this time we got to figure out the angle measure. So, this one's a little more steps here. So if I'm trying to figure out angle B, I'm gonna, when I'm gonna use A squared equals, the one that's opposite of the equal side by itself is the one that's opposite of the angle that, that you're trying to figure out. So in this case, it's gonna be 17 squared equals 19 squared plus 23 squared minus 2 times 19, 23, cosine of angle B. I don't really need these parentheses right here. I'm just doing it to show you the numbers here. So now, this is the most tricky part, or the trickiest part. You really have to show all your work and be careful of the order of operations. So I do 17 squared, which is 289, equals these two, I can add these two together. I can't put this with this because this part is stuck with the cosine of b. So I'm going to do 19 squared plus 23 squared and I get 890 minus this part is 874 and then I have cosine of b. So a common mistake is for people to put these two together but you can't because this is stuck with the cosine. So then I'm going to subtract 890 from each side. And I get negative 601 equals negative oops, 874 cosine of B. So now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 874. cancel out. So now I have cosine of B equals this. So because you're trying to find the angle, you just do cosine inverse in your calculator. So you do cosine inverse of 601 over 874. Both of them were negative so that they cancel out to be positive. And I'm going to round that to nearest tenth or nearest degree and it's 47 degrees. So be careful showing all your work with order of operations. Same with number 10, find the measure of angle E. You're trying to find this angle, so that means this one is going to be the side opposite. 
So it's 14 squared equals 22 squared plus 19 squared minus 2 times 22 times 19 cosine of angle E. Then again, you got to do this is 196 equals do these two 845 minus 836 cosine E. So then I'm going to, I can't combine these two right here, so I have to subtract 845 from each side. So I get negative 649 equals negative 836 cosine E. Now I divide both sides by negative 836. Because I'm trying to find the angle, I do cosine inverse. So I do cosine inverse of these. Put it in my calculator and I get about 39 degrees.